Zerach, Ecclesiasticus 3. Hear me, your father, O children, and do thereafter that ye may be safe. For Yahweh has given the father honor over the children and has confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Whoso honors his father makes an atonement for his sins. And he that honors his mother is as one that lays up treasure. Whoso honors his father shall have joy of his own children. And when he makes his prayer, he shall be heard. He that honors his father shall have a long life. And he that is obedient unto Yahuwah shall be a comfort to his mother. He that fears Yahuwah will honor his father and will do service unto his parents as to his masters. Honor your father and mother both in word and deed that a blessing may come upon you from them. For the blessing of the father establishes the houses of children, but the curse of the mother roots out foundations. Glory not in the dishonor of your father, for your father's dishonor is no glory unto you. For the glory of a man is from the honor of his father, and a mother in dishonor is a reproach to the children. My son, Help your father in his age, and grieve him not as long as he lives. And if his understanding fail, have patience with him, and despise him not when you are in your full strength. For the relieving of your father shall not be forgotten, and instead of sins it shall be added to build you up, in the day of your affliction it shall be remembered. Your sins also shall melt away, as the ice in the fair warm weather. He that forsakes his father is as a blasphemer, and he that angers his mother is cursed of Elohim. My son, go on with your business in meekness, so shall you be beloved of him that is approved. The greater you are, the more humble yourself, and you shall find favor before Yahweh. Many are in high place and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. For the power of Yahweh is great, and he is honored of the lowly. Seek not out things that are too hard for you, neither search the things that are above your strength, but what is commanded you. Think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needful for you to see with your eyes the things that are in secret. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are showed unto you than men understand. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion has overthrown their judgment. Without eyes you shall want light. Profess not the knowledge therefore that you have not. A stubborn heart shall fare evil at the last, and he that loves danger shall perish therein. An obstinate heart shall be laden with sorrows, and the wicked man shall heap sin upon sin. In the punishment of the proud there is no remedy, for the plant of wickedness has taken root in him. The heart of the prudent will understand a parable, 
and an attentive ear is the desire of a wise man. Water will quench a flaming fire, and alms makes an atonement for sins. And he that requites good turns is mindful of that which may come hereafter. And when he falls, he shall find a stay.